Yo, what's going on YouTube? We're back with another video. I'm going to dive into Team Affinity Season 2 and how to complete it the most efficient way, how to get it done really quickly. Uh, this stuff came out on Friday, and I was pretty excited to hop into the grind. See, Team Affinity 1 wasn't too bad. Uh, they added some things to make the Season 2 a little bit easier, but it took me uh, until Sunday to get this done. So yesterday, I finally got this done. I'm 100% on every single one, so I'm just going to dive into the strategy that I took to uh, basically attack each division and how to do it efficiently. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get into it. Team Infinity Season 2, as you can see, we're at 100% on every single one. Season 1 down here, Season 2 up here. So something important to know, you do not need to do Season 1 Team Affinity to do Season 2. So this is something completely new. Uh, last year, you had to build up each uh, Team Affinity. So basically, you start from the bottom up. You couldn't skip until later in the cycle where you could buy some of the cards. This year, it seems like they're going away from being able to buy these cards off the market. They're making you grind a little bit, but you do not have to complete to say you don't have to complete AL Central Season 1. You can just hop right to Season 2 and start from scratch. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to hop into one of these just to kind of show you guys uh, a little bit about it. Uh, this is basically the same as Season 1. It goes up to 150 stars. You get different cards, uh, the different packs from each division. Uh, so like if we're just looking, this is the choice pack. Um, you, you get to get every single one of these. So there's five of these choice packs. We're gonna have a different video. I'm gonna go in depth on which cards you should go through first. But, so this is just kind of like an idea of what you get from this if you're new to Team Affinities. So basically guys, what I'm gonna do is kind of dive into how I completed each one of these divisions. So as you can see here, we have missions, moments, you have a conquest, March to October, which don't, don't ever waste your time on March to October. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Collections and exchanges. So we're gonna start here first on how I attack this. We're gonna go to the exchanges. So basically we're what? Two months into the game cycle almost. Um, if you have collections done, you've probably built up a bunch of cards just chilling in your inventory that you can just exchange towards this if you wanna get this done a little quicker. So this is the fastest way to get this done. So what you are going to do is basically start with the AL East players four. So they added this fourth exchange on the affinity they did not have this before and if you complete this 150 uh, thousand points you get 30 team affinity points towards this so right away you're knocking out like a third of this or fifth of this entire uh, team affinity by just completing this the the third one you get 15 points the second one you get 10 and then you get another five so basically you can get 60 points towards this team affinity by just exchanging players uh, I've heard the best strategy in doing the exchanges is going onto the market, putting in some orders for silver cards because they're not going to cost as much. Um, but once again, just, just hop into these exchanges and see what cards you have in your inventory already. And just, if you don't need them, just put them towards the exchange. I'm telling you, it's going to make the grind so much easier. You get 60 points knocked off. You only need 90 points to finish the entire division. And you can do this for every single division. So you can already start at 60 points. And if you don't know what you get at 60 points, if we're looking here, let's go forward. At 60 points, you get a choice pack. So you get to start with just from exchanges, one of the cards from the, the choice pack from the affinity. So that's why I think it's really important to do the exchanges because if you're trying to get the best card from each division quickly, you can get the best card quickly. And I'm gonna have a video, like I said, that's gonna go in depth on what cards you should go for first, the top six, so one from each division. So hopefully you guys enjoy that video and uh, definitely check that out. So, all right, so that was the exchanges. The next thing is collections. This is another thing that they added. They did not have this before. Uh, they had they had a variant of this if you actually did live series collections, but this is like it's mini collections. You take flashbacks and legends. Uh, you need 20 flashbacks and legends from each division, which trust me, you're gonna have 20. It's not as difficult as you think and if you don't have 20 as you complete stuff on this team affinity you do earn uh what's called like henchmen smaller packs that are diamonds that you can take to put towards this and you get another 10 points so if you do exchanges and the collections you're already at 70 total points on this team affinity run 
So you only need 80 points left. So how did I attack this after doing exchanges and collections on all six divisions? Because I had that many cards just chilling uh, in my collection. It, it really took me, what, 20, 30 minutes just to go through exchange cards. Was good to go. Sitting at 70 points. How did I attack this next? That's probably what you're about to ask now. Well, Team Affinity Conquest. I get it. Not everybody likes Conquest. But this year, or this season, they did something different. And if you complete the East Affinity Conquest, you get 30 points towards the AL East, 30 points towards the NL East. So you're knocking out two birds with one stone. So if you do collections, exchanges, and this conquest, you're already at 100 points for two divisions. Two divisions. That's knocking all the time off in the world. And on top of that, guys, what is very cool about Conquest is you can set your lineup. And what I mean by that is if you go to missions, there are missions that are specific for players. As you can see, I've completed most of these missions. You don't have to do every single one, uh, as there are also accumulative missions here for plate appearances. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to hop into Conquest. You're going to build a team based off of these missions on the... Uh, for each affinity. So like the, this is the AL East, you have to get extra base hits with Chris Davis, with all-star Craig Kimbrell, with Gary Sanchez second half, you have to do some stuff. Uh, you gotta get hits with postseason Kevin Kiermaier, you get the point. So basically you build your team with these players that are given to you for free. And what I mean by that is, if you back out of this missions right here, you go up right here, AL East Legends and Flashbacks. So this is how you earn these henchman cards Towards the, um, towards the affinity that you can use for missions. So you get one at five, you get another one at 20, you get another one at 45, and you're gonna get one at 70. So one, two, three, four. You get four of these guys to help you towards missions by just doing exchanges and collections before you even attack the conquest. So you're gonna be working towards four missions while you're doing Conquest. And on top of that, these missions are worth it. You get four team affinity points for each mission. So four times four, that's 16 team affinity points from just those four cards alone. You get up to 20 once you get that fifth card unlocked. So 20 points towards that. So if we're doing math in our head, like I said, you do the exchanges, you are at 60, you do the collections, you're at 70, you finish off the uh, the conquest, you're at 100, and if you finish five of those sp player specific missions from just the henchmen, you're at 120 team affinity points. And you know what we're not hearing here that we heard from team affinity one? Showdown, showdown, showdown. This is a way to avoid showdown. So what's cool about that is also, remember you get your first choice pack from the uh, team affinity. Just like the henchman, whatever card you pick, you can earn four points. There's five of those, that's 20 more points. So say you get the missions done, uh, all the missions exchange, all that, you're at 120 points. If you get four of these, uh, the actual like rewards from the team affinity, that's another 16 points. You're sitting at 136 points for team affinity. Why I say 136, you cannot get the final card, which would have got you to 140 because it's the 150. So what do I do now? What do I do to go from 136 to 150? I'm gonna show you. So what people don't realize too is when you're doing conquest, you're getting plate appearances. So plate appearances are going to give you 10 team affinity points towards the program. So 100 total plate appearances with your guys in your lineup. You have to have cards from the actual division that you're working towards. What I would do is take the mission players from the NL East and the mission players from the AL East and build a lineup. The reason I'm doing that, you're getting two birds with one stone done while you're doing a conquest that works towards two of the divisions as well. You're gonna get plate appearances for both. Um, it's, it's not 100% necessary to get the plate appearances done. That's just, that's that's if you wanna do the plate appearances, you can also take this into like a plate versus CPU, just play some innings, whatever. You don't have to. They also have moments like they've had in the past. So we have five moments, that's 10 points. You do all five of these moments, boom. You go from 136 
up to 146. And all you have to do after that is basically get one of these right here, one of these repeatable missions done. Boom, you're at 150, no showdown at all needed or required. If you wanna do a showdown, you can. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys the showdown vouchers once again. You do a showdown, you get five vouchers. Five vouchers is 15 points. You can do the showdown. Uh, I'll back out, I'll show you guys the showdown real quick. Uh, if we're gonna go to single player mode showdown, if you're new to the Team Affinity, Team Affinity Season 2, uh, once again, you start a draft, you draft players, you get a, a couple of diamonds, some gold, silvers as you go. But if you're going to go the route of showdowns, I stress, don't play every single mission. What I mean, you're going to play the first three missions, and that's it. You get two, four, six runs towards the total that you need. You only need to beat 12 runs. What you do is you draft your team, boom, boom. Beat this mission, this one, this one. All right, skip all the way to the end. It's 12 to six. If you can't do it from 12 to six, you can get away with doing the boss battle, maybe one more mission, then skip to the end. But I'm trying to save you guys some time. I think the easiest way to do showdown is to do the first three missions and then just skip to the end with 12 to six. And if you guys don't know, a hot tip in showdown, if you're new to showdown, when you get on base with a player in showdown, you can steal every single time up to eight runs. What I mean by that is, so when you get to first base, if the score is 12 to seven or lower, 12 to seven, not eight. Once you get to eight, you can't steal. You can steal every single time to put them in runners, uh, the runners in scoring position or even on third base where a sack fly, a hit, you can drive that run in, ground ball, whatever. Um, it's kind of like a glitch. It's known out there. People have been exploiting this, but it only works up to eight runs. Once you have eight runs, do not steal unless you have a fast guy. You think you're going to steal the bag because they will attempt to throw you out. That's runners and difference. I don't know if you guys know what runners and difference is. Basically, when a team is up in a game, they don't care about the guys on base, so their defense stays away, lets them steal the bag, whatever. It's almost like it's a built-in mechanic. Uh, the CPU is doing some type of runners and difference here. Uh, but other than that, guys, like I said, the way I attacked it, if we're going to summarize how I did these team affinities, is basically doing exchanges, collection, the uh, missions, the player-specific spe missions, the conquest. Like I said, if you do the exchanges, collections, and the conquest, you're already at 100 points. If you do the player-specific missions, you're at 120 uh, that's just for the henchmen, and then if you do the player-specific missions for the Team Affinity, the main cards, you're up to 136 points without having to do plate appearances, moments, whatever. You get another 10 points for moments, you're up to 146. Gotta go fill the void, find the extra 4 points. Do it how you want. Uh, there's also a good method that you can do too, is if you do the Exchange Collections Conquest, you're at 100, 100 points. You do the player-specific missions, like I said, you're at 120. If you do the other player-specific, like the main ones, 136, boom, you could go do one showdown. Um, I did that with my final one just because I was like, you know what, this might be quicker. That could be quicker. Once you get to 136 points, you only have to do six total showdowns. You can do one showdown per, per team, boom, get the 15, you're up to 150, you're completely done with team affinity. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to break it down on how I attempted this. Uh, there are some videos out there. Uh, I know Yayo has a great video on what cards to look for for exchange value. Um, what I mean by that is what silver's bronze to it, uh, how many you need and what cards you should and uh, put your stubs towards. If you are gonna be doing the collections, uh, the exchanges, if you don't have enough, cards to just outright exchange so make sure you guys go check out yayo he's a really good dude in this community um outside of that guys i got, i hope you enjoyed the video uh we're gonna come out with a tier video not really a tier but kind of what card to go for first for each affinity so guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like comment subscribe what you want to see next time and from cream priest to you peace